My friend Mary Bays and I, we thought this park would be a perfect spot for a rain garden because it was always a mucky mess. Sadly, Mary passed away in 2018 and when people wanted to commemorate Mary in some way, some of us suggested that the rain garden would be a good way to do that because Mary was a tremendous community volunteer and so a lot of people came together to plan it and to execute it. We got all the planting done in about two hours. We had a great volunteer turnout. People get really engaged in these activities. It's like a, a balm for climate anxiety. That's what I think. When you're in the ground digging, planting, it restores that feeling of hope and motivation for keeping on going. It's a huge improvement for this park and I think it's a great opportunity for the community to really learn about the value of rain gardens. So we're really excited and I think Mary would be very pleased. The more citizens know about the value of rain gardens, we think the, the greater support they will give to their local governments to actually initiate rain gardens all over the city. We think that rain gardens are actually a pathway to resiliency and in times of climate change when there's a, are going to be a lot more storms, a lot more heavy rainfalls and then at the same time a lot more drought that rain gardens can actually be a very natural solution to, to some of these if we can find a way to scale it up. So we can demonstrate that this works but then we can scale it up so it's, it becomes part of the way we build cities. I think that we're going to be much more resilient communities. Mm -hmm.